All right, the sun's shining today. It's a hot one today. We need to plant watermelon. And we also have been wanting to utilize our hill right here. And so that's where we're gonna plant our watermelon. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna just direct seed the watermelon and then utilize this plastic to combat the grass and the weeds. We're gonna put holes in the plastic and then just drop in the seed with a little bit of compost and then cover it up with wood chips. I am putting these stakes on the plastic so that way the wind doesn't blow it away or it doesn't slide down the hill. Good job, Penelope. You have to push it down hard. Good job. The sun, moon? Yeah. Oh, the moon and stars? Moon and stars one? Let's see those, Penelope. Yeah. Okay, where should we put them? We can do the moon and stars on this half, Penelope. What do you think? And then the yellow watermelon on the left half. Ooh, this is such a good idea. A moon right there? Mm -hmm. And then we could plant that all around it. We weren't going to do watermelon because we didn't have any watermelon seeds, but we were sent seeds by one of our YouTube subscribers. So that's pretty awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to plant them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change of plans with the plastic. <laughs> As we're doing the plastic, we're realizing that, okay, now I know why when you see people do plastic, like in the farms and stuff, they do it in really narrow strips. So you're not stepping all over the plastic when you're planting. Like what I was doing when I was cutting in the holes, I was stepping all over it. We're cutting it in half, and now we're gonna flip them around so that where they're kind of in rows. Right, you just poke a little hole with your finger and then stick it right in. Whoa! All right, don't drop them on the ground. That's barred rock. Here, I'll do these top ones. We've never had luck growing watermelon. Last year, I think we had a problem with like cross pollination of watermelon and pumpkin and melon, and it just nothing ripened. It didn't. It didn't work out. And then so this year, that's why we're kind of putting it away from the garden. We want to utilize the hill and hopefully there's no cross pollination going on. I don't know if they'll grow, but we'll give it another try. So now we, all we have to do is shovel in the wood chips over this and it's done.
put this down here. Oh, so we can go inside and have some ice cream. Ooh, ice cream weather. I'll get ready for the ice cream. What do you have on your arm? It's a, uh, this is a burdock leaf. And I touched something earlier and it gave me a rash and my skin is really itchy and it feels inflamed. I'll show you what I did. Come follow me. <laughs> All right. So this is like a cool little bracelet you can wear. It looks cool. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it soothes your rashes. So I had a rash on my arm. It was burning and itching. So I walked down over here to our stream. It feels really good. Feels nice and cool. And we have burdock growing amongst the poison ivy and amongst the jewelweed. Kind of like to think of it as God's way of providing for the itchy plants that are around. So wherever there's like poison ivy growing that you can always find jewelweed or burdock. You can identify burdock by these big giant leaves and on the back side it's furry and it's kind of whitish and so what I did, this one's a little, actually this one's too big. Let's get a smaller one. So what I did, I just want to show you the leaf. This one's got some bugs on it, but that's all right. And then I took it back here by our creek. Burdock plant is edible. You can eat the stems and the roots. The roots are really good for you. It's a cleanser. Um, you just want to be sure you know what you're eating. Um, I'm always really scared to go down here because there's a snake that lives down here. <laughs> um, it's a king snake, but and they're not venomous, but still, I know he's here and he scares me. So anyhow, you just take the leaf. What I did was I just kind of cooled it off, wiped off some of the bugs. I just made it a little softer. And then I just wrapped it. See my rash? Just kind of wrapped it here and it's, it feels instantly cool. Oops. We can start with this side and then poke the little buttonhole through and then it's wet so it'll stay and it feels nice and cool and my rash doesn't hurt as much because it's cool and it's a cooling plant so it's going to cool down the rash it's not going to heal it but at least while i work out today <laughs> i can have these cool bracelets oh, that's hot. <laughs> And, and That's my fashionable. Rash, yeah, and then my rash won't bother me. But. Wonder Woman power bands. <laughs> so that's a little fashion tip. <laughs> All right, so we planted watermelon. Hopefully, we'll have a whole hill full of watermelons. <laughs> I don't know if that'll happen, but we're trying to grow watermelon for the first time. On a hill for the first time. Yeah, on a hill. But we appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Okay, let's go inside and have ice cream. I think we'll come out here and finish the rest. I'm, I'm pooped out today. <laughs>